Hi, this morning, um, having an interesting thought process um, about like food and animals and like the separation between animals and people as well. Um, one of my friends, she like posted this really traumatic thing this morning about how there's this, she was, she works for the forest service and she camps out there and she this is like the fifth time she's been woken up by howling dogs out of the woods and today she was woken up by the screams of like a baby bear who's like looking for his mommy and uh it's just really traumatic time for some of us this what is called like hunting season um I'm not really sure like how our society defines hunting or what is like culturally acceptable um, by the majority. And it's like where you live, I guess, makes a difference. And I'm just just thinking about like what kind of place I want to live in and what's possible. And I just would really like to like be in a, or create even, like create a tribe of people that only um, took the, like, stole the life of something that they really needed to eat, and, like, they did it in a really honorable way, um, that wouldn't take, like, the mom away from babies, or, um, maybe even where, like, the animal had a fair chance to get away, like, just the, I don't know, like, maybe even bow hunting, or something like that just seems like, it could be like an honorable thing. I mean, you'd have to be a really good shot so you don't like wound something and then it's like running away. Um, but yeah, like where just the being was like super respected and like, you know, maybe even a tear was shed or like just like the acknowledgement that like these things are are being forced to, to give their entire life um, for us. And it's like, Half of us are extremely, like, gluttonous. And it's just, like, just thinking about, like, why the reasons why we're actually doing this. I mean, fun for fun or sport, like, killing for sport doesn't really seem like a, an honorable or spiritual way of doing something. And, and um, I don't know, it's just something's entire life, like, would we do that as humans? Like, would would we want to be sacrificed our entire life just because for someone else's pleasure? I mean, maybe our li are our lives worth more than that? I guess that's the the question: is can we put ourselves in the shoes or the paws of something else that already has to do a lot to survive? Um, yeah, that's my question. Like, or are we super like that? narcissistic that we can't put ourselves in something else's shoes or paws and think about what that would be like to be you know chased by a gang and then away from your baby I'm just curious about that yeah and also like if energy does go somewhere else like how would you how would you like you know to see your body go like that too like um you know like a bunch of people standing around you or like cutting your head off um or just like holding up your dead body on camera interesting uh questions for you today i'm sure that all my you know empathic or emotional friends can relate to this um and i'm sure it's going to trigger anyone else but i'm curious about your opinion and i would really challenge you to think about um even if you don't believe in it, like, what would it be like to see, to, to be able to watch, like, or feel yourself being chased by a gang and separated from your baby? Love to talk about it.